Hello, thank you for checking out my lightning talk. I'm Rachel Tucker, an undergraduate student at the University of Florida, and I've been studying Martian regolith as a substrate for foreign planetary horticulture. Why do regolith studies matter? Human space exploration is increasing in duration and distance, which poses a greater need for in situ resource utilization in order to maximize available resources. A regolith simulant offers a comparable substrate in order to study the potential of Martian regolith as a local resource for crop production on Mars. Why do we want to look at Mars Global Simulant 1? Other Martian simulants are available, such as JSC Mars 1 and Mojave Mars Simulant. Both are sourced from natural environments and have been widely studied in literature. Mars Global Simulant 1 is a recipe created by Exolith Labs to mimic the mineral, chemical, volatile, and spectral properties of the Rockness regolith at Gale Crater, which is the best characterized regolith to date. In our experiment, we wanted to determine what low concentrations of the Mars Global Simulant, how that could affect crops. And so we tested three different concentrations of regolith relative to an inert arcelite substrate base. We tested 10%, 25, and 50% Mars Global Simulant 1 relative to the arcelite. During growth, we, we collected, daily, collected data daily for radical emergence, cotyledon emergence, first true leaf spudding, and at 10 days after planting, we harvested and collected fresh weight, dry weight, height, and widest diameter. We, we planted 25 seeds for each of the following cultivars, daikon radish, amara mustard, extra dwarf pak choy, buckwheat, Red Russian kale and outrageous red romaine. Pictured here is a top view of three, five, seven, and 10 days after planting of the control group in the top row 10%, 25%, and the 50% concentration of Mars Global Simulant. As you can see, as the concentration of Mars Global Simulant increases, the amount of vegetative tissue decreases. Pictured here is a graph for each of the cultivars. In the x-axis is the number of days after planting, and in the y-axis is the percent of seeds planted. As you can see here for radical emergence, there was a large difference in each of the six cultivars between the 25% concentration of regolith and the 50% concentration. For cotyledon emergence, in five of the six cultivars, with an exception of outrageous red romaine, there was a large difference between the 10% and the 25% concentration of regolith. And again, for the first true leaves budding, for five of the six cultivars, with the exception of the outrageous red romaine, there's a large difference between the 25% and the 10% concentrations of the regolith. At harvest, there was not enough vegetative tissue in order to collect data for the 50% concentration of regolith. However, for the 20 fresh weight, for the 25% concentration of regolith relative to the control group, each of the six cultivars was statistically significant in fresh weight. For dry weight, five of the six cultivars were statistically significant between the 25% concentration of regolith and the, test and the control group. For the height for the harvest data, it was very statistically significant in terms of the 25% uh, concentration of regolith in which all six cultivars were statistically significant. And in 10% concentration of regolith, five of the six cultivars were statistically significant. And as you can see pictured here, the extra of pak choy at 0% um, or the control group and the 10% concentration, there is a wide difference. Diameter was also greatly affected. In, for all six cultivars, the 25% uh, concentration of regolith was statistically significant from the control group. What does this mean? Unamended Mars Global Simulant 1 severely inhibits vegetative crop growth in multiple cultivars, and not just at 100% concentration. This occurs at low concentrations as well. And what this means is that this, this regolith will need to be altered in some way in order to become a viable resource for crop growth on Mars. Of course, this was not done as one person, science takes a lot of people and a lot of wonderful people contributed to this project. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you enjoy the project.